and welcome to the channel. Today we are at with Clipper Marine down at Poole to look at this Sea Ray Sundancer 38. We've both just come back from Spain. As you can see it's a shaft drive variant on Z drives. It's also got the nice hull windows, fixed hard top and something I always like to see is the bell thruster. I do apologise, it's a bit windy today. So if we walk to the back of the boat, you can see it's got a half decent deep V. It's got massive trim tabs as well. One here, and the other one on this side. Two trim tabs here, with the rams that push them up and down. The props are off because I say the boat's just come back from Spain but normally here you'd have two large props sitting in these tunnels so they give a bit of protection if you did happen to run aground here. The exhausts are over there, one and two on that side just in here look, just in there. One thing I do like about these American boats and particularly the sea line is you get a really decent bathing platform plus you get massive massive stern lockers. So, let's go and have a look on board. So here we are on the swim platform. As I mentioned, you can see it is very large. On this side, we've got stern cleat, fuel filler, waste pump out, slot for your ensign, fishing slot, and then you can see down the side here, you've got a slim walkway to the foredeck one of the two very large stern lockers in here a lot of space in there on the other side we've got pretty much the same thing a very very large locker freshwater outlet and then your inlets for your mains and it's like a tv and a phone inlet as well there really nice stern door that opens up and then gives you access to the stern. Little fresh water shower here. Put some lights on. And once inside, you can see just how massive this is for a 38 foot boat. There's a stern cockpit area, big array of seating on both sides. They access hatch to the bathing platform more seating on this side, dining table there. This little section here, this lifts out so you can walk around the side decks. And then you've got exactly the same here. This little section lifts out so you can walk around the side. Sort of external wet bar here, sink. Then in here is a recess for your igloo. So you can take your igloo ashore, take it home, fill it up, bring it back to the boat. In this locker, we've got a little fridge, Nordic fridge. Another decent sized locker in here for storage and two mains outputs. Then, really nice helm arrangement. So, you've got a double navigator seat here, decent single helm seat with a lift up bolster. Bit of storage underneath there and this seat is then height adjustable as well so you can move it up and down for your own personal settings and then your helm position it's runs i think it's got mer cruiser engine so you've got mer cruiser throttles you've got the vessel control there trim tabs height adjustable steering wheel bell thruster radio control Controller for the Ray Marine E120, which is there, and then you've got a secondary one here as well. And then on the side, we've got one, two engine RPM gauges, and then you've got things like oil pressure, battery voltage, and fuel on both sides, and then a really nice run of carling switches right the way along here. 
going the little locker in here, like so. And finally, there's another locker. So tons and tons of storage space on here below the joint seat. Once again, access below. It's pretty straightforward. Open the door. And that clips in to a really nice little catch down here. This is again really efficient. That pops over and the whole thing slides back. Really big aperture to get you down into the saloon and you can see if I pause here for a moment. Decent sized saloon. Drops you quite a long way down into the bowels of the boat. Starboard side, a nice run of seating with a nice table. You can see those hull windows now. Storage up above. One, two, around the end here. Three. I believe this boat's got reverse cycle air conditioning, so I'm guessing these are the vents for the air conditioning. It's got speakers in the ceiling, a selection of drop down lighting. What's really nice and what makes this boat so large is the open aft saloon. So effectively this is a, an aft sleeping area, but by day it's effectively a lounge. TV on the side wall here, so you can sit down here of an evening and watch TV. But at night you can pull these sections out here, that pulls out on this rail and across here and gives you effectively an aft bed. A bit of extra storage over here. One locker there and secondary locker in there. In here is your main distribution panel. So being a US boat it's 120 volts rather than 240 so that's all your main distribution and then down the bottom here is your 12 volt control panel and the battery switch master switches for the engines. On the port side you've sort of got the galley area being a US boat again not surprisingly two fridges decent one at the bottom there secondary one in the top combi microwave oven up here again great view out of those hull windows plates and cup storage under there and a little more storage for cooking under there I don't want to try and get it to work because I don't know how it works but up in this panel under here is another or could be another drop down TV the idea there is you can sit over here in the dinette whilst you're eating and watch your TV that pops out the panel there. A bit of extra storage under the sink. And there. And then there's a selection of drawers. A couple of drawers. One, two, three, four down there. Let's just pop that back up. Ceramic hob. And sink and a little waste bin. Power sockets here are obviously US, it's 12 volt and then you've got lighting and ventilation for the galley. Two doors here, one into the forward cabin, master cabin and a secondary door into the shared day heads. So vacuum flush toilet in there. A little vent at the back there for the warm air diesel heating, opening a uh, port light, storage in here, Corian style worktop, mixer sink, uh, tap on sink, a little bit of storage under here, there you go. But you'll notice there's no shower, there's obviously a shower outside, there's another shower on the other side of the master cabin, so let's go and have a look at that. This is a pocket door, save space, it slides across and gives you access to the master cabin. Very large centre line double berth. 
bit of storage underneath, I think. No, perhaps not. Storage underneath the bed. Yeah, there you go, look at that. If I can lift this up one-handed, bear with me. There you go. So the bed covers, table, storage lock underneath there. And then there's a secondary locker, it looks like, under here as well. Yep, there you go. Oh, that's the cruise air, air conditioning in there. So this boat has got reverse cycle air conditioning. So over the side here, you can see there's a little port light, TV station, a couple of lights either side of the mirror, big access hatch, which as you would not surprisingly has got blackout blind, and the other one coming this way is a mosquito blind. There's curtains over there, another wind, another light. Ventilation slots here for the AC. A little built-in wardrobe in there. And this door you'll have noticed on the way in, the starboard side, is effectively a full shower. So the nice thing about that is you're not sharing it with the toilet or the heads. Again, it's got heating, which is quite nice. A vent over the back there, opening port light, and a full-on shower. So you can shower yourself separate to the toilet. You have obviously then got access through this Jack and Jill door into the toilet that takes you back out obviously should you want to go out through into the saloon. I'll take another step back here into the doorway, gives you an idea of the size of this cabin. And bear in mind this is only a 38 foot boat. So let's go and have a quick look around the decks. Before we have a look around the decks, just thought we'd have a quick look at the engine. So, like all American boats, there's a little switch here that lifts the engine hatch. Which, uh, who doesn't like an electric engine hatch? It lifts the entire aft deck section, seats and all. All you've got to do is make sure the stern door is shut. And down here is the engine bay. And in this one, we've got a couple of Mercruiser petrol engines, putting out 370 horsepower each. And they're on v-drives so effectively the front of the engine faces backwards power comes out of the engine into the v-drive gearbox you can see there and then the shaft goes back out of the boat uh, to the props drives the props and pushes the boat forward lots and lots of space in this engine bay it looks like engine batteries down that side you've got your 12 volt batteries over the back there got water intakes down there Raw water strainers and bilge pumps down there and on the side over here is the generator I believe it's a 7 kVA 7 kilowatt generator and then underneath here with the fire suppression system you've got all your trips battery switches and everything a couple of fenders stowed down there as well so yeah Mercruiser petrol engines so there you go I'll just drop the hatch down and we'll go and have a quick look around the decks So there you go, whole thing goes down as a complete unit. Obviously you have to unkit the canvas cap hatches. The other nice thing here is because we've got a fiberglass or GRP radar arch extension, it gives you really good weather protection. So you can see there's a little window above us for a bit of ventilation and all these panels here can be taken out. So you can have a full view forwards, or you can obviously peer through the window um, and steer from here. So I think that's nearly down. We'll go and have a look around the decks. There you go, we can now use this little step that we spoke about earlier, around the side decks. Grab the handle, it's a little, always a little bit precarious when you're this high up. And the water is not so bad. Another grab handle here onto the four decks. Which seems to be quite good. There's a big sun cushion that sits in here with an adjustable backrest that all clips down. A little ventilation window there so you can get some air through. Now we're up top, you can see the radar or the, the GRP roof. There's the pop up section. You've got a GPS aerial over there, VHF aerial up the top there. Moving forward, there's your water inlet there. There's the four hatch that we looked at for the four cabin. A couple of 
the forward cleats, windlass, foot switches so you can push these with your feet to make the anchor go up and down. I do apologise for the wind. Very powerful floodlight, which your anchor. And then in here we have the mechanism. Really nice, it's on a little gas strut. Fresh water, so you can rinse the hose off. And then in there is all your anchor chain. So there you go. Oh, and a manual handle, so if the electric winch pants packs up, you can still wind it up manually. Have a look backwards. So there you go, one C-Ray 380. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I shall see you next time round. Cheerio.